Hi. Okay, I'm back. Let's get to business. And of course, in true Vesprini fashion, I'm going to mix it up. So in front of you should be three pages of information about year five. And I want to start with something new that is going to be implemented for every student who plans to return for their fifth year of school here at the wonderful St. Thomas More. So take a look at page two, and we're going right down to the bottom of page two. I've even starred it. When is registration day, and what do I need? Well, newsflash, newsflash. We have something that is going to be a bit different for the upcoming year. And if you read new with the stars, grade 12 students wishing to return for year five must receive principal's approval prior to registering. So you're not even going to be able to go into my blueprint and select courses until you fill out an approval or a form that is a registration form that needs to be approved by Mr. Deany. Grade 12 students, second point in there, must complete the attached form. Return it to guidance by February 23rd. That is next week, everyone. So you do have a week to spend in filling out your application form to be considered to return no longer is year five considered a victory lap it's not a victory lap anymore it's a prep lap and so you need to know that not everyone who plans to come back for year five is guaranteed a spot and i know that's harsh and i'm usually saying lots of fun things in front of the camera but this one needs to stick and in that application form please do not take that lightly be very, very clear in your explanation for why you'd like to return. Why would you like to return? Returning just to play a sport can't be the rationale, even though some of us may have done that. Don't put that in your application. Put down why academically you are going to apply to return for year five. Some students need year five in order to fulfill their Ontario Secondary School Diploma to graduate. And if that's the case, you ensure that that is put down in your application, okay? So that's where we're starting. And then we're gonna move over to page three. So at the top of page three, if you are approved to return for year five, your registration documents must be completed by Monday, March 4th, 2024 which is common for everyone at STM. I've highlighted those three points that we're going to look at on the top of page three. My blueprint option sheet. Please note that you cannot make changes to the courses you have selected on your approval form. And you'll understand that when you go through that approval registration form. Application, excuse me. Activity fee of $50 must be paid and it can only be paid on cash online. And as a year four going into year five, you already know that. So let's just skip to um, something new that you may or may not know about. Verification of registration form, check that off. You know that. The next point, what happens if I am not returning? What do I do? Do I still register? No, you don't register, but there is something that you do and it is filling out a blue demit form and you are welcome to come into guidance. They are readily available. You will be filling out that form indicating that you are moving on. Maybe you're moving on to post-secondary, which of course we hope for you. Maybe you're moving on to a great workplace, which we are excited about. And some of you are actually moving on to continue your apprenticeship placements, which is terribly exciting. So if those are the cases for you, you must come in as a young adult on your own to guidance and fill out that blue, I'm out of here form, okay? And you can ask either of our beautiful clericals or any of us guidance counselors for that blue form. Got it? All right, now let's move over to page one, just like the normal people would do. All right, coming back for year five, 
If you are coming back for year five, the rest of this is for you. Year five students, you're expected to take a minimum of two courses per semester. Not one, not zero, two courses per semester. And that constitutes a part-time student. You are welcome to select more than two per semester, especially if there are required courses for the intended post-secondary programs that you are going to apply to. Point two, are there any certain courses that should be included? If you are returning because you need to fulfill some graduation compulsory credits, ensure that those are selected. See myself or any of the guidance counselors whom you deal with to, uh, to help navigate what it is that is still missing. Primarily, I would be your guidance counselor if you are in grade 12. So make an appointment and come see me. I never leave that office. Uh, Post-secondary programs, college, university, workplace even, but mostly if we are post-secondary bound, it is your responsibility to do your homework. And the homework means what sites do I navigate? Where do I go? We handed out a worksheet a long time ago, but on this sheet alone, you can access both the university, uh, Ontario University information.ca site, which is for you to peruse every Ontario university. Every program offered in those Ontario universities are listed under one umbrella. It's great. And when you click on the program of your interest, you're able to click on a tab that actually says requirements. You'll be able to see what outstanding courses you're going to have to register for if these are the programs you would like to apply to. The same goes for post-secondary destination to college. And on our, 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 wow, let's try that again. On our ontariocolleges.ca website, you will also be able to access the websites of every college and the program that you are interested in. And you're going to look for a couple key terms, admissions, or requirements and you will click on those tabs provided to you and see what outstanding courses you need. Any help you make an appointment and we are here for you. Do I need to take a religion course in year five? No, you don't. As long as you have taken all four religion courses that have been offered throughout your high school career you do not have to take or retake a religion course. And that does free you up a little bit with respect to a timetable accommodations. How can I, we're on point four, how can I learn about the requirements for post-secondary programs? Well, I've already spoken to that. So no need to go over that, but those two websites are listed on this handout. Ladies and gentlemen, not a victory lap. If you plan to return, you return with intention. And as I mentioned before, it's really important for you to understand that Mr. Danny is going to hold you accountable for your reasoning. It is also important on page two at the top to note and highlight this. Many colleges now and over the last couple years have begun offering four year degree programs. So a student that is already studying university or M level courses in grade 12 should also consult the Ontario College's website. Many of our tech programs post-secondary are offered through and you can read about on the college website, but the requirements are still six U or M grade 12 level courses in order to be eligible to apply. And as it says here, you, you need to make sure that if you, are, if you are applying to an oversubscribed college program, what might that be? Well, it could be a nursing program, for example. Anything that is considered competitive, and you'll see that often there's red lettering on the website that indicates that it's oversubscribed or it's competitive. You want to ensure that the courses that are required for admission are in your first term timetable. When that timetable is received in June, it is your responsibility. There are 
over 460 of you. It is not the guidance counselor's responsibility to ensure that the courses that you would like to study or that you need for your application are where they are supposed to be. That is your responsibility. Let me say that again. Your responsibility. Not your mom's, not your dad's, not your guardian's, not your, gu your guidance counselor, not your VP, not your classroom teacher. All you. Got it? Okay. I'm in total lecture mode this morning, eh? You know why? I haven't had my coffee, so I'm not like, I'm still wound for sound. Um, all right, listen, if you are workplace bound, halfway through page two, you can navigate this with me. If you're workplace bound, you should be thinking about the type of work you wish to be doing if you are returning for year five and the high school subjects and experiences. Hmm, what kind of experiences if I'm workplace bound? What about a co-op experience? Put that on your schedule, on your selections. We have the most incredible co-op department in the land. These women and men not only know what they are doing, but they care very deeply for each student and advocate to the ends of the earth for you. If you show that you're interested, our co-op teachers are gonna do everything they can to find you a placement. So put that on, have a discussion with any of our guidance and co-op teachers. All right, listen, there's one last thing and we've talked about it. The Ministry of Education a few years ago have, and they continue to push for all students to fulfill a graduation requirement, which is studying e-learning courses. If that doesn't fit into your school budget, you would rather be face-to-face -face because we all know that learning face-to-face -face is the way to go. But certain circumstances in life relegate us to do something different. And e-learning courses is something the ministry wants us to get comfortable with. But there is a way out and it is an opt-out sheet. Again, you would make your way to guidance. You would ask for the e-learning opt-out sheet, which is hanging on the wall in our guidance department. I believe it is a yellow sign on, on the wall for you that says opt-out. Grab one of those forms. If you are not yet 18, a parent needs to sign and agree that you're going to waive those requirements. So the government does allow us to indicate that, no, I'm not interested in studying e-learning courses at this point. But that form has to be say, uh, signed, otherwise you are going to be held responsible upon graduation. All right, beautiful people. On the final page, two thirds of the way down, course selection on my blueprint. I'm going to be honest with you. I'm not going to go through this with you because you already know how to do this. All of this, is lined up right in front of your eyes, even though you may love the sound of my voice or my face on camera, your, your teachers have way more important things to do than listen to me go on. Your responsibility as young discerning adults is to go through the course selection step-by-step -step process on how to select your courses if for some reason you've had a brain freeze. It's all done on my blueprint. Be prepared. Our lack of preparation is no fault of anyone's but our own. Please understand that. But most importantly, there's two more things that you have to take home with you. You must, promise me. Number one, St. Thomas More, you are loved. Loved, like my heart is exploding. Never forget that. In the darkest times, you are loved. Someone in this school, is always, always ready to help. And second, have yourself a great weekend.